So we don't lose anything by trading Ben Simmons for James Harden. Like that's just a low, low, like that's just a, a bet where you can't lose anything. The only thing we can do is gain because Ben Simmons is of zero value to us right now. So if we get anything for Ben Simmons, that's more value than we got. We can't get less than zero. What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the Spins Awards. I'm Simone bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official small with the Spizorts merch collection, get you the classic tea or the wavy tea. And lastly, guys, turn your notification bells on because the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. Guys, let's get into this breaking development. Is it really breaking news? Because it seemed like every other freaking four months. James Harden is in the news, disgruntled and GE. This just happened last season with, not last season, last, the season before with Houston, and now the same drama is going on with James Harden and the Nets. So it was reported yesterday, Mark Stein of the NBA um, reported that James Harden, let me go and look, is developing that James Harden is open to relocating. That in its fueling trade rumors heading into the trade deadline, which is February 10th. And the Sixers are reportedly interested. Now, the fact that the Sixers are interested does not say much because, shoot, the Sixers are interested in any trade because we try to get rid of Ben Simmons. So I feel like it's, it's James Harden is a big name, so it's like, oh my goodness, the Sixers are interested. But we were interested in freaking um, the Hawks roster. You know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been interested in everybody if <laughs> they talk in the right price. Now, obviously, Sixers fans have mixed feelings about this, and I'll tell you guys my feelings. One, I understand the anti-James Harden to Philadelphia talk because James Harden does seem like a non-team player now. You wanted to go to the Nets, you're with the Nets, and now you're open to relocating again. It's looking like it's you. You know when it's a relationship and it's like, is it me or is it him? But if you keep having problems, you got to look at the common denominator. And the common denominator is giving James Harden at this point. So you got what you wanted. You got your big three in Brooklyn. Like, what are you mad about now? Because KD just got hurt and you have to carry the load because Kyrie can only play on the road? Like, instead of running and jumping ship, James Harden needs to be the kind of guy who's going to fix in-house. KD will be back. And you, James Harden, you're supposed to be an NBA MVP candidate in the past. You an uh, all-star. You something you can't carry the Nets for three, three, what? Kyrie going to be there on the road game, so what? How many games is that? Four to six weeks, that's a lot of games. But let's say Kyrie will be there 50% of the games. All you have to do is not have the Nets tank while KD is gone. You telling me you can't carry the team for just a couple of weeks? Kyrie gonna be there for half the games. And if you really concerned about the Nets and that what they're doing and winning, not winning, I guess because KD just got hurt. The only reason why I'm drawing that conclusion is because this just came out after KD just is gonna be missing four to six weeks. And we know KD has been the engine in Brooklyn. So if I'm James Harden, I'm encouraging Kyrie to get the shot. So Kyrie can come out and help me ball out. Because why else would James Harden want out right now? It's not a coincidence that the moment KD is out, James Harden is like, oh, I'm open to relocate again. So I can see why Sixers fans are probably like, it's, if we don't win, so if we trade for James Harden, if we don't win in one year, is James Harden going to want out? Big question. Good question. But the Sixers are a very special case because we already have a guy that's sitting on the roster, wasting a roster spot in Ben Simmons. So we don't lose anything by trading Ben Simmons for James Harden. Like that's just a low, low, like that's just a, a bet where you can't lose anything. The only thing we can do is gain because Ben Simmons is of zero value to us right now. So if we get anything for Ben Simmons, that's more value than we got. We can't get less than zero. 
There ain't no negatives in this business. We're getting zero value for Ben Simmons right now. So we can't, it can't hurt to get James Harden. We only can get better. Okay? So Ben Simmons, I'm, Joel Embiid is in his prime right now, falling out, going crazy. And he needs help. He needs support, especially when we get into the playoffs. The Sixers are balling right now. Joel Embiid balls out every night. If we don't get help from Tobias, which we did in the other night against the Wizards, if Tobias is having an off night, if the bench is having an off night, then Joel Embiid's 30-point, 10-rebound performance is for nothing because the Sixers are going to lose. We know Joel is going to come out and ball out every game. But the question is, is Tobias going to help today? Is the bench going to help tonight? Those are the questions. Joel needs help. James Harden is help. Like I said, so if James Harden comes and it's a situation where we're just trading Ben Simmons for James Harden, shoot, pull the trigger because we ain't getting G for Ben. So anything is upgrade over Ben. Freaking um, five G Leaguers is an upgrade over Ben. Anything is upgrade over Ben because we're not getting G for Ben right now. Now, James Harden is making $44 million, Ben Simmons $33 million, so the Sixers will have to throw something else into the trade. In this scenario, I threw in Furkan Korkmaz into this scenario, and the trade was successful. So, we will be sending Ben Simmons and Korkmaz to Brooklyn for James Harden because the, the Nets are going to be losing a lot of offense with James Harden getting Ben Simmons. So that's why I said, hmm, let's go ahead and give them um, court mods because that's some more scoring power off the bench or whatever. So Ben Simmons will help the Nets defensively. And I mean, it just works out in my opinion. Like I said, Ben Simmons is a great facilitator. So him and KD might work really well together if if Kyrie comes back. When, well, when Kyrie is playing, him and Ben will work well together. Now, my question is, um, actually, a backcourt of Kyrie and Ben would actually really high key be fine, though, for real, for real, for real, for real. And KD is just Tobias Harris a thousand point oh, and we saw how that worked. When Ben had a good forward, when Tobias was acting right, and we had a good guard next to him and Seth Curry, we was the number one seed. So honestly, if I'm the Nets, I would take that heat. And the biggest question that was coming from the Nets was how would they hold up defensively? And then obviously you're getting number one defender. Well, when he was playing, we don't know if he fell off a little bit because he ain't been playing basketball in a minute. You're getting a top defender in Ben Simmons. It seemed like a win, 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 win for both teams. Now, a question that does arise is, you know, you're going to have, you have a strong personality in Ben and you'll have a strong personality in Kyrie. Two guys that we, that are enigmas, that teams can't figure out. Kyrie has a lot of questions surrounding him. Ben has a lot of questions surrounding him. So if I'm the Nets, I'm like, hmm, do I want to bring in another enigma? We already got an enigma in Kyrie. But like I said, James Harden, I'm not surprised because we clearly see he's ring chasing, ring chasing, but sure, fine. Joel and B needs to be surrounded by stars, okay? And not, what's the word? Inconsistent role players. So go ahead, bring James Harden to Philly. Like I said, we won't lose anything. If James Harden up and wants out two seasons from now because we didn't win or whatever, what did we lose? Ben Simmons, who we already didn't have. So we didn't lose you. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and bring, in my opinion, James to Philly. And he better have a good attitude when he comes. You know what I'm saying? But guys, let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out my links down below. Buy me that coffee. Shout out to Fisher's Moment and Spizzle's merch collection. And turn notification bells on. And that's so I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!